facts. You're trying to build an audience and you're creating a lot of content and putting the effort for you, for your business, or for your clients if you work at an agency. But is that driving results? Is that getting you new messages? Is that driving traffic to your website? Are you growing your audience and getting enough engagement? Those are the questions you can answer with a dashboard like this one by connecting your Facebook Insight account to Lucar Studio and even all your social media platforms. You can analyze your audience, your content performance, even your page sentiment, reactions, and growth, your video performance to analyze if your video and content strategy is working, and even analyze the messenger insights to understand if that's driving you conversations that leads to new clients, depending on your business, or potential leads. So basically, I'm going to teach you how to do it, and you can copy this template like in minutes, for real, and without understanding anything of coding and those complicated things, because everything is used by clicking and authorizing. So let's start. The easiest and fastest way to connect your data to Looker Studio and get the template I was using previously is to go to portalmetrics.com slash en slash onboarding because this will take you to Looker Studio to authorize Facebook Insight directly with the default template, okay? So it will create a new report for you automatically with the default template so you don't have to start from scratch. This is the easiest and fastest. However, if you are starting from scratch, you can go to Looker Studio and click create and click report. This will take you to this view where you can search the data source you want to connect and then authorizing. Or if you have an existing report, just click on add data and then please type here Facebook Insights. You will search for the cat unicorn by Parametrics that is the Facebook Insights connector. I'm going to use this connector, but you have to know that you have different third-party connectors you can use. I'm using Parametrics because for marketing teams, it's a very good third-party connector and also brings all the fields from the API. You can see reels, posts, images, videos to analyze all your creatives. And it's very easy to use and fast. So basically, this is why we're using parametrics. I'm going to select this, but the process is the same for whatever connector you want to use. Then when we are here, first you have to authorize for the first time to Looker Studio. Once you, you are done, you don't have to authorize again for Looker Studio, never. But if you haven't done it, do it, please. And then you will come here and you will have to click on the second bottom of authorize. This will take you to your Facebook profile, okay? So if you have a Facebook profile open, this will redirect you to that profile. So if you need to open an additional profile, do it because this will take you directly to Facebook. When you're in Facebook, this will ask you to select the specific businesses or pages you want to connect to Looker Studio or it allows you to opt in to all current and future businesses. I recommend you to do this because if not, probably you will get, for instance, if you want to add an additional account or anyone gives you permission to an additional Facebook pages, then you can add that automa automatically to Looker Studio if you want it. You will have to reauthorize and give permissions again and repeat this process. So I suggest you to click on opt-in to all current and future businesses, okay? And repeat this again for pages because this is a process of authorization in Facebook. Then... You are done and click save. This will redirect you to this page where you will see the account you connected with the email you have related to your Facebook account. That's why this is not public. And then you will have to click on next to finish the process. Once you get to this tab, please close it because this will redirect you automatically to Looker Studio when you close it, okay? And you should see something like this. So now you are connected to Facebook Insights and now you have to select which specific account you want to connect. In this case, I selected the Portrait Facebook Insights account. And then please click on Add. After you click on Add here on the right corner, you will be asked if you want to add this data source to the report. Please do so. And then this will create your first report, okay? If you connected the data source with the initial sequence I showed you, you will get the default template. Remember, you can get this template if you go to parametrics.com slash en slash templates. Okay, so that's very easy. And you can search for the Facebook Insights template. And remember, here in your new report, you will have the data sources to the right. And here you can see all the metrics and dimensions included in this data source. So basically, now you can explore your report and connect it. One of the best things is that you can actually edit and change the colors, the logos, add filters add new metrics and dimensions, new visualizations, and customize everything within Looker Studio. Actually, we have a lot of tutorials where we teach you how to add new graphs, how to add filters, how to create custom metrics. And remember that you will have with the parametrics connector 
metrics for posts, audience, content performance, page, video performance, and messenger insight. And of course, you will get the thumbnail of your creatives, okay? So if you don't see this, please go to resource, manage the data sources, edit, and be sure that your images are all like this one, like are working because they can be hidden. We don't know why Looker Studio does this sometimes automatically. So you can show the images if they are hidden and then you can also edit the connection here. Okay. So this is very important because it will allow you to reauthorize your profile in case you need to. Okay. So basically what you can do is add more accounts here and also reauthorize if, if needed. Okay. So now you're ready to go. You are off to the races. So you can start exploring and you can also watch our tutorials so you can become a Looker Studio expert.